Hey Hopecast, my name is Karen Pappen and I am so excited about this opportunity that I have to be able to talk with you guys today. To tell you a little bit about myself, I have been passionate about self-development and helping others to be able to see their divine purpose and worth since I was a teenager. I've been studying self-development since then and I went on to study and obtain a bachelor's degree in psychology. I am currently the owner of, of Inspiring Dreams Apparel and DreamInspires.com where I write about the things that I've learned and I also sell t-shirts and other products that are all about helping you to conquer that self-doubt, anxiety, and other things that hold you back from living a full and connected life. I'm also a mom of three little girls and I love them so much. And some of my designs such as this one that you see here are actually inspired by my little girls and help in my desire to be able to help them to be able to see their worth and potential. Uh, what I really wanna talk to you guys about today is the idea of reaching. That My word for this year is actually reach, and I find it a little odd and ironic <laughs> that here I am seeking to reach out to other people and the coronavirus hits, and I'm no longer able to talk to them person to person. <laughs> face to face and so it it is has been interesting way of being able to apply that word of the year because because of that however there are still ways that we can reach the first way of reaching is to actually reach up reach up to God and be able to recognize his hand in our lives. When I was 15 years old, my younger brother passed away and it was an extremely difficult time for me and for my family and a huge adjustment as we tried to figure out life without him in our lives. And so what really helped me to be able to get through that dark period was being able to turn to the scriptures and the words of God. I want to share with you a story about a young girl who had cancer and she wrote in her journal the thing about the thoughts and things that she was experiencing as she continued in her fight against cancer over time she did pass away and her parents were going through her journals and they came across the phrase the moon is round and they're, they were puzzled by that. Why, why would she write the phrase, the moon is round? What, do, what does that even mean? And so they continued to look through her journals and came across where she wrote a little bit more about what that meant to her. And she talked about how there, at times we see a full moon and other times we see just a sliver of a moon. And it does not change the fact that the moon is the same shape no matter what we actually see of it, what part we actually see. It is still the same shape. It stays the same. Sometimes we can't see him very clearly. Sometimes we have this full picture, just like the full moon, but other times it's just a sliver. Sometimes it even seems like an eclipse, but it does not change the fact that God is still there and he is still leading us and guiding us and he still loves us and he still wants to help us in any way he can. And you can see this shirt right here was actually inspired by that story because it, was, it had such an impact on me as it reminded me that during the darkest moments in my life, both with my brother's death, but also in experiencing infertility and miscarriage for, for a while, going through those periods of grief and pain, sometimes it was hard to see God, but it did not change the fact that he was still there. And looking back now, I can see all the ways that he was there guiding me and supporting me and helping me through that time and waiting for me to be ready to do the things that I am now doing. So in the midst of whatever you are going through right now, there is still hope, there is still light, there are still people such as Tani and Bethany who are spreading that hope and that light throughout the world. 
and if we look for it, we will find it. I also want to talk about reaching out because even though we can't necessarily meet with people face to face right now, we can still be with them in other ways. If we can call people on the phone, we can text people, we can FaceTime them, video call them, all these ways of being able to connect with people. I've seen bear hunts where people are putting bears in the windows so that people can drive around and hunt for those bears. Other things I've seen are sidewalk drawings with inspirational messages, as well as little rocks being painted with sunny pictures and, and happy thoughts to be able to just brighten someone's day if they're going for a walk. One thing that I've done is the a podcast discussion group so that I can connect with people on a, di on a deeper level and, and be able to discuss with them so a passion of mine. Whatever you're going through right now, you are not alone and you are loved and you are important. And I love this quote from Brene Brown. She says, I divine connection as the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued, when they can give and receive without judgment, and when they derive sustenance and strength from their relationship. So reach out to others, share your story, let them know what you're going through, and, and hear what they are going through too with an open mind. I want to share with you one more thing and um, that is this print right here and the reason why I want to share it is because I, this was also inspired by the miscarriage that I went through and you'll see it's it's a little teardrop you can also see outside my window with the reflection um, but you can see it's a little teardrop and there's a rainbow in it and there's a song by Sia called Rainbow that says I can see the rainbow in the tears as they come on down and really as we reach out to each other and we connect with each other and we let people know that we see them that we hear them that they are loved that they are heard that is when we're able to help them to be able to see the rainbow in their tears, that there is hope within their tears. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and for listening to what I have to say. And go out there and share your story and connect and reach out to others.